Hello everyone, it's Captain Thief with our third episode of A oh, Wizard's Lizard. Yeah, three deaths, zero wins. That sounds about right. That's okay though, you know? Now I start off with, let's count it, let's count it, 2,000 gold. It's the greatest thing ever in the history of anything. And, oh wow, <laughs> that's going to take me a while. The blueprint was 20,000, so you know, that's understandable. Anyway, you know, there's no point in, you know, just hang on to our default weapon and whatnot. Let's uh, actually spend some of this money. I think that's an attacking, uh, attack up glove. And, you know, new weapons wouldn't hurt either, but I'm going to get that spear again. I think it was worth it this time. Uh, hang on. That was actually extra health, wasn't it? Yep. Doesn't slow me down, though. So, you know, that's, that's okay with me. That's all right with me. That's all right with you. That's all right with everybody. Oh, no. What I wanted actually was to take this firework. Well, I could always hit reset, but you know what? We'll, we'll save the firework for our next episode, because, you know, the firework is actually a, a recent addition in the 4th of July up update, you know? And just because, you know, you're not American doesn't mean you can't, you know, celebrate some fireworkery, huh? Now, if I didn't spend my gold, I could have bought some things like the. Oh, whoa. Let's do that again. Let's tempt fate. <laughs> I, I love it. Okay. Anyway. Anyway. As I was saying, if we didn't spend gold, we might have been able to buy one, of the, one or two of those things. It's okay with me, though. I'm definitely not farming to get them. If anything, I might buy the ring, maybe. It's hard for me to say, you know? Now, there are achievements to this game. One of them is to hoard 30 soul orbs, something I think I'll do by accident just by being me, you know? And the other one... Uh, well, I mean, actually, there's a lot more achievements than that, just two. There's actually quite a few more, but there's another one about beating the whole entire game in 20 minutes. I am not ready for such a thing like that. I think in order to perform such a feat, you need to have very good preparations. Maybe that trident I unlocked, but, you know, that's, that's going to take some play. That's going to take some preparations, guys. That's going to take a lot of, well, they call them hostages. It's going to take a lot of hostages rescued. Haha, ha, you guys are slowed down by your own grave dirt. Um, that's actually a little hard to see, but you know, I'm not complaining. Actually, I, I just was, come to think of it. Oh, dang it, I, uh, I passed up my weapon opportunity. Oh, well, I guess this is my speed run. I really should be paying attention to where the exit is. It isn't as obvious as other games where, you know, you beat a boss and then a door in the cellar opens up or to the caves or where, wherever. You know what game I'm talking about. I'm going to see if I can go an entire Wizard's Lizard episode without mentioning the Binding of Isaac. And there we go. Failure already. Well, you know, at least we got the blueprint Abacus. Hopefully Abacus is kind of cheap, you know, because it's, it's, it's a good item. Then again, they could probably price it at 20000 and, you know, people would still buy it because I think it doesn't take up a sl an equipment slot. Um, hey, how's it going, guy? Well, you know, we've made progress already. I'm happy. Shaman Ring, is that the thing I was planning on buying? It is the thing I was planning on buying. Yeah, okay. Speaking of which, we gotta use our totems, guys. Let's use the totems. Um, bombs hurt. Spoiler alert. Uh, you know, let's make them hurt them while we're at it. Boom, okay. Anyway, what seems to get me the most in this game is bombs. Thankfully, I'm strong enough to one-shot ghosts, but not zombies yet. One-shotting zombies is a... holes in the ground? Uh, give me a second, guys. Hang on. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. Let's go ahead and, you know, give these guys something to remember us by. You know, a little memento of sorts. And, oh, I got owls. Probably one of the harder enemy types for new blitz like me. It's alright though, we, we took care of business. And I could have sworn I saw an apple fly out of its corpse. Or maybe the gore just reminds me of apples. Can you see why they taste like apple? Uh, this is going to take me a while to get around because of all the spikes and stuff. But that's alright, we, we got gold to compensate. And it's okay that we died too, actually. Uh, I guess bombs can't kill ghosts. Okay, I said it's okay that we died. I, I was referring to only the first time, not not both times actually. Um, this is this is going real bad, really fast. But I think we're going to be able to pull it off. 
if we can either get some food or get to the resurrection station. Uh, there's the exit. And we're passing by Food Place McGee anyway, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, gold, yes. Gonna need some gold for this. I, I guess that's another reason to farm gold sometimes, especially if you have the golden axe. To get all the food out of the merchant, the food merchant. We'll call him the bakery. Because, you know, I saw a cupcake there. He's totally a baker. Yes, if you have the patience for it. Yeah, all I can afford is this rotten meat. Well, let's do it. Uh, good enough, you know. 15, 15 HP. I, I couldn't really tell if it gets more efficient the more you spend, gold-wise, for health-wise. But I think it, I, I think you know, it does pay off to buy the higher price things. Maybe, maybe I'll have to run the numbers. Um, I am a fan of shaman things. But all the same, I want to hang on to uh, my attack bonus. The thing I spent my prep money on instead of fireworks and or... And or... The the ring. The ring I actually got for free. So actually what I was going to say was kind of stupid. We got the uh, we got the ring. So I, do, I, don't, I don't mind uh, resurrecting here. Let's see. It should bring me up to 30 out of 60. It brought me up to 25. Okay, well, fine. Everything's dark again, though. Isn't that just nice? Let me check out the map. Yeah, we, we've discovered pretty much everything. Uh, we bought that blueprint, so we don't need, even need to worry about that anymore. Do 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 do. It's pretty swell music. I think that part of the art of making video game music is you gotta make music that won't be too boring after you've heard it a million times for a million hours. And I think, you know, some games really excel at that. Others, well, they could use a bit more work. Why aren't you farming the zombies for gold, Captain? I don't have the time for such shenanigans. Maybe if it, you know, really proved fruitful. And eventually it will. Eventually it will. Uh, maybe then I'll do such things, but you know, for now, for now I'm content where I am. I am very content where I am. Uh, that could have been some damage right there. Well, I'm so glad that the pots that look like they hold food had gold instead, you know? Uh, oh, okay, these are things I haven't seen yet in my own experience, but I have in other people's experience, and by other people I mean just one other person. And these are soul-sucking fans, which means that, you know, they're going to sweep me right into the uh, spikes there. Or into enemies, you know, it, it, they're very hard to maneuver around. I, I actually can't believe I haven't seen them until just now. Well, I'm going to take care of bats. I, I could use a bit more work on my aim, but otherwise, you know, I think I think that went just fine. What's in the chest? Is it a mimic? Nope. It's boots. Shaman boots. Wow. A, a more glowing recommendation for me to start using tomes more I haven't seen. Alright, whoa, hey, 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 orcs, cut that out. I think it increases the range, too. Uh, zombie, I'm gonna need you to just die there, okay? Thank you. I probably could have saved myself a lot of health if I had been using my tomes more. That's something to remember, you know? I'm, I would like to think I'm naturally inclined toward turrets. Oh, hey, this is, this was the boss door. I think I might just use some soul orbs on this guy. It would help me a lot more if I knew just how much they would do. Okay, it's that first form. Alrighty, uh, fine with me. I'm just going to use this to take out the zombies. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's plenty of efficient uses for it. Uh, I'm probably going to die. And by probably, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's a reasonable bet. Uh, yeah, just go ahead and summon all these zombies after me. Two seconds left, and here we go. Just go ahead and oh oh oh, take out the zombies, please. Could one of you guys drop an apple or something? I, I could really go for a steak, or an apple, or any sort of food, except for the poisoning food. That might actually do a bit more harm than good. Okay, let's just dodge him. Like like I said, I want to use a soul orb or two on him, but right now is not a very good time because he's having too much fun spinning around. Way too much fun. Okay. 
Uh, oh, and the Soul Orb has a cooldown too. But the good thing to notice is that it's also AoE, Area of Effect. Which means that, you know, it's probably a good thing to use if I ever get in a cluster... <laughs> a cluster mess. <laughs> uh, hey, don't, don't hit me. I I'm just gonna finish you off, alright? Is that alright with you? Alright, he comes right at me. Oh, yeah. Ah, dang it. We both got each other pretty well there. You gotta admit that. We've we've uh, become each other's rivals. And I, I think he can appreciate that. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put this right here. You know, it actually might be kind of good to be dead. Just so you can kill these spawners for more chances at soul orbs. Hmm. You know, I'm going to go ahead. Not go. Because I still want the hostage. But I do want to see what's in here. Ah, now would be a bad time for them to surprise me with a golden mimic or something. I'm imagining a golden mimic would be stronger than a regular mimic. Anyway, things are not turbo well because, you know, now we have to fight every ghost we ever made or ran into. It's all right, though. You know, we'll, we'll get through it. We'll take some damage on the way. Ah, and the spider webs don't slow down the those guys to add insult to injury. The good news though is that at the end of our long travise we have a nice tasty health potion waiting for us to rejuvenate all the damage we take. Well not all of it. At least 25 and I do admit we're coming close to that uh, amount already. Wow I, I just beeline for the boss. I feel pretty good about myself now. Um, werewolves. I, <laughs> that, that, was a, that was a lucky shot. I didn't even know there was a barrel over there to explode. Alright. Mr. Orc. Loktar Narosh. Or something, you know. I, I, oh, maybe he, I didn't kill a werewolf. Maybe he just ran off. You never know with these guys. Not that they're cowards or anything. They just make tactical retreats, you know? And um, now he's dead. Okay. Well... Uh, killed dire bat. Let's call him a tire bat. Ten times. What are these flaming skulls called? Oh, I haven't killed enough to know. Um, shaman tunic or more health? I'll take the more health, Alex, for, well, no amount of money, but, you know, just for that. A ring? Uh, guys, could you go back in time and come to my house and tell me if I've already gotten a ring? Oh, wait, I can find out myself. I have a, I have a ring. Map, compass, map, compass, map, compass, both. Yeah, okay, I'm feeling pretty pretty good about myself now. I know where the hostage is. Uh, this is going to take some doing. Shaman, help me out. Uh, I'm going to have to kill this man-eater. And then run for it. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed smacking me there. Because I did not enjoy you doing so. Alright, that owl is right next to an explosive barrel. Unfortunately, not close enough. So by right next to, I mean like, uh, I, I guess. I guess if one of them had a cold, he could infect the other. But, as it is, oh, thank you so much. Yeah, okay. I don't think health armor makes food owl. I feel bad now. Um, hey buddy. Want to give me 500 gold to support the town or whatever? Yeah, thanks. Anyway, I think these things are totally legible. Some of them, anyway. Maybe this one. Nope, it's covered in orange juice, though. Maybe I killed somebody next to it. I don't know. I will not stand a chance against the merchant, and, you know, my good nature, good-ish nature, means that I really probably shouldn't. I wouldn't mind being the Raga who comes after me and sees all this free equipment and dead enemies, by the way. What else am I doing here? I'm, I'm fighting werewolves now, I, I can see that. But why did I come this way? What purpose is there to finishing off this third floor? Uh, none that I can think of, unless I find food. And even then, if I take damage, it's, it's counterintuitive, or counterproductive, I should say. Not counterintuitive. Let's, let's have a look at that map. Okay, I can I can see how big things are. That's that's good. That's good. Uh, help me out here. Ah, okay. Just take cover. Let let the totem, well, not do anything, but you know, it dreams of doing things. 
That, that counts for something, right? Why is he throwing shovels at me? Are you a gravekeeper? Is that what you're trying to say? You think you're some sort of shovel knight? Not today, buddy. Uh, we'll come back for you. Because I would feel a lot better if, you know, I had some distance rather than, oh, let's try and melee him, pretty much. Uh, got him. Alright, just takes two hits, guys. Two hits, and the owl bites the dust. I'm saving up my soul orbs again. I really should be using those. I guess that would have been the perfect situation right there when I walked in here and saw all those guys just being like, Oh, look who just showed up. Well, we'll take care of him, or her. I don't know what Raga is, and that's okay. Uh, we'll just, oh, great. It moves the totem around. That's, uh, that's cute. That's, it's real cute. This might be the end of my run. Uh, well, okay, maybe not the end end. But, you know, it's, it's not gonna, it's not looking so well, okay? I'm almost dead. I came all this way for, well, I'm just gonna say it was for stupidity. Uh, great. A uh, flaming skull. Now will you tell me what it's called? Or is this like only the fifth one I've killed? Hmm. Well, let's carefully grab gold and just be on our way. <sighs> Should have been on my way from the beginning. By the way, you can farm zombies for food, but I think it's statistically not going to happen, is what I want to get at. That's just a regular merchant, if I remember right. And all he has is that $8,000 ring, 8,000 gold piece ring, if you will. Which, you know, I'm not going to put up with for now. It's a little out of my budget. Boss music, even though the boss is dead. Alright. Let's, uh... I don't know if these torches are special and have a higher chance at giving stuff. And, you know, I don't mind being the first one to find out. <laughs> no, I am far from the first one to find out anything. Okay, it's the sewer, right? It is indeed. I don't know. I won't know until I beat this. Ah, this music. You know, that's another thing. You gotta make every different set of rooms, so to speak, have a different music track, which makes everything better. What's in here? Enemies? No, it's a merchant. A merchant I can't afford. Alright. Well, I'll uh, come back to you then. Alright. Uh. I, I kind of miss that lance now. I could really use the range. But, you know, if you're going to play this game, and we are playing this game, oh my gosh, I can't one shot these guys. Uh, this is bad news for Raga. But good news for anyone who's taking bets on Raga's death. And, you know, no, I'm not to say that I'm betting against her, him. I'm just going to say him. Just because. You want to correct me, that's fine with you. Fine with me. Fine with anybody, really. But, I, I, I just don't know without, you know, an official... Oh, hey, you guys can pass through each other? That's kind of jerkish. But alright. Uh, I'll just trick you over there. Yeah. Hey, I got enough money for keys. Let's see what I get. A hat! Oh, I really wish I could wear that hat. On my character, I mean. And see a little wizard Rogger running around killing things. Uh, did that say magic power? Because it definitely wasn't a shaman hat. Yeah, soul power. Soul orbs. Well, let's, uh... When we get into a messed up situation, we'll, we'll use one. I promise. And you know how much my promises are worth. Alright. Green slimes. Uh, did you make... Yep, he did. He totally made an enemy. Uh, yeah, and there's more of the, more than one. Thanks for thanks for your consideration. Jeez, I really wish I really miss having that lance. But you know, I wanted to get out of four one so fast I wasn't even looking where I was going. What do you got? Poison totems for a weird amount of money. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I I I gave you an enemy. Is, is that alright? You know, it's messed up. I think if I start a fight with him, they would be on the same side. You know, they wouldn't be damaging each other. That's what I think. And that tells me that merchants actually are truly evil. Um, yeah, that, that's all I had to say about that. 
Merchants deserve de Well, okay, maybe they don't. But still, you know, I'm, I'm looking for justifications here. Even loose justifications. I, I do feel like getting that poison totem. Being able to slow enemies would be tops right now. I don't know what it is with the sewer area and making me say the word tops. It's 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 a thing. Uh, let's go ahead and blast the sea monster. And let's okay, good. Nobody else. And done. Okay. Let's go ahead and grab this. And yeah, we're we're wrecking face now. Oh well, not all that much face. There's still some unwrecked face around here. Is that 50 gold worth grabbing for? No, I'm just gonna leave it. You know, hate me all you want, but I, I, I'm trying to be time efficient as well as effort efficient. That's a fancy way of saying I'm lazy. Oh, you just had to make a ghost at the last minute. Well, all right, you know, you wanna make ghosts? I'll, I'll take care of them. You know, maybe these guys aren't even after me just to get me anyway. Maybe they're just trying to get rid of their ghosts. You know, maybe they're possessed and they're coming to me for help. Help us, Raga, so you know. I destroy the outer caramel-lined body shell to get to the crunchy soul nougat inside, and I take care of things. Uh, please don't tell me these weird eyeball oozes have humanoid ghosts, too. It's not beyond my expectations, though. Not in that the, uh, Developers are lazy. No, I, I'm lazy, and I'm defending that title to death. But just the fact that you know oozes, you know maybe they have soul envy, or maybe they have uh, ghost envy. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, that bomb could have killed me actually, so that wasn't a that wasn't a terribly good idea, but it wasn't a terribly terrible idea either. I feel relatively content with how this went. Okay, so face huggers. Is it really that big a problem that I'm not one-shotting them? A bit. I mean, it, it would help a lot. They wouldn't get in the way so much. I could pile through a whole bunch of them really quick. But uh, blow you up. I said blow you up, and I probably wouldn't take as much damage. Probably. Uh, this is the end, actually. All right. Uh, it's you that's keeping me back. You've been holding me back. Alrighty. Uh, you know, I, I keep contradicting myself all the time. I'd like to be moving on. But at the same time, I forgot what floor one of each place has. Oh, and I want the po- I can get two maps. Well, you know, I don't want to waste money. I don't know if that's uh, that's a thing or not, but having two maps doesn't sound like it would help. Or maybe it would help me like extra much. Maybe maybe it'll tell me where the uh, secrets are. Oh, okay. It doesn't hurt them at all. It just slows them down. That's still fantastic in my book. Okay, fantastic. Write that down in my book somewhere. All right. Uh, you're done. And it lasts a really long time too. Maybe that's the uh, shaman shaman equipment coming in because you know it can't slow them down further I think the slow is probably pretty binary between normal speed and slow slow as a zombie ought to be really and so the shaman equipment probably just makes it last longer I don't really have anything to base that on also that totem I bought made the gold I hold have a oh well it always be a weird number now Thanks. Thanks for that. Poison totem. Two chests. I have to kill everything in here anyway, so you know, this, I'm not I'm not bothered by this. Who would be? I can one-shot ghosts. That's probably the only thing in this whole area I can one-shot. All right. Well, we're going to we're going to who dares wins here and just try and get on on here and kill these guys. I don't really get a warning when the Poison totem disappears though, so that that's gonna be a problem. Also, I think the face hugger did a ton of damage to me. Didn't I have 40 HP? I'm gonna say I had 25 just so I can feel better about how bad of damage that was. Just go ahead and destroy this thing when you're ready, and this thing too. Yes. 
Now the bad thing is that my my uh, totem no longer helps me destroy things. Oh hey, let, let's let's find out. Uh, ow! Thanks. Let's put that there. Destroy this. No, it didn't even slow down the projectiles. Uh, well, you know, it helped me here. It actually has a voice similar to mine. Not not the one that's speaking right now. I mean, you know, Raga when Raga gets hit. Uh, thanks for the lantern. Oh hey, money. I could probably get killed by a face hugger and die, but you know, I got I got some money. Have we made progress yet? I I need to save a I need to save a hostage. Uh, okay, I've saved a hostage. I bought one blueprint, the abacus, if I remember correctly. And you know, I think this is a even better. Oh crap, totem too. The other, well, you know, there, there went there went this run, but you know, it's okay. It's all right. Twenty minutes. I could I could certainly play again if it were for sure going to be another player or another uh, 20 minute run, but that's not how it goes, is it? It always turns into 40 minutes if I'm actually having any sort of success. What kind of problems did I have with this one? I ran into the bombs again. I really should get that lance if possible, the Arthur's lance. And other than that, you know, I think it I think it did pretty well. I have no idea what the slime keys for still. But you know, I'll find out eventually. I'll find out eventually in spades. Now for the mysterious lantern and dark door. Huh. Actually a little creepy. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. This has been Captain Thief playing Wizard's Lizard. I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe if you really want to. It's alright with me, whatever you want to do. I only want people to do things that they feel like. It doesn't mean anything to me if you subscribe and then never watch anything ever again, okay? So, it's really for more, more for your convenience. And I will see you guys next time.